So here's a really quick tip to build a network with Google Sheets, and it uses Google Sheets, but I also want to show off some pretty cool in new interface changes, meaning chips. These are people chips. So in the past, if you want to create a network, let's say you're like moving to a new town or moving into a new industry, and you're like, oh, okay, I know a few people, but I want to like build a network. What you would do is, or what I suggest you do, is create a sheet with just 52 rows, put person, email, the date, and then meet them. After you meet them, send them a follow-up email and say, hey, is there one person that you would suggest I talk to based on our conversation? You must do this afterwards. And if every single person you meet suggests to you one person to meet, then you will never run out of people to meet. This is a very fast and very good way to build a network I use this when I first moved to Los Angeles. I literally went down a list of people I knew, met them. So they suggested someone. I went and met them. I reached out to even cold emails and cold DMs, and I got people on the books, and I went and met them where they are, made it really easy, bought them a coffee, and then they suggested someone else I go and meet based on our conversation, based on what did we talk about, what did we need, what are the, like, the next moves, and that's the key to this. But here's something about Google Sheets that's really fun is this new people chips. Again, it used to be like you want to type in a person's name. You had to go find their email address somewhere else. And it's like Sharon at gmail.com. If I wanted to meet like Andrew, myself, I'd go like Andrew at Andrew at gmail.com. And I'd have to go find their email in my Gmail or in somewhere else. And then I have to write the date. If I wanted to write the date of when I met them, I'd have to be like, oh, when did I meet them? But now there's some really cool date chips and email chips that make all of this so much easier. So the date chip, I can just type in today. And there it goes. Hit enter. And I have today. And this is a date that doesn't change. It used to be if I typed in equals today, this would get me the date of today, but it would also change an update every single day. But now at today, or <laughs> that's actually wrong. I don't add the parentheses, that's a muscle memory. But you could also do tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna meet this person tomorrow. That's the date that I'm gonna meet them. And then whoever they suggested, I can write right here. This person and email has also gotten easier and I can only and I can do it now in one column. I can do at Andrew and now it's going to go through my the people in my workspace. It's going to suggest them. And now here's a people chip. It will give you this message here. So we just click do not show again. And you can dis or you can just dismiss this message. Basically, mentioned people are given, might be given access to this document. You don't want to do that, especially if you're trying to build a network. So hit dismiss, but also click that do not share button. Do not ask again button. All right. But now look at this, this email address has everything baked into it and it's a chip connected to my inbox so i can even create a new email right here in one click i don't have to open gmail copy and paste their email i'm like oh yeah i want to do network building network building hey we talked about whatever and wanted to know if there's one if there's one more person you'd suggest i talk to about this this is super fast and super easy to be able to, I'm just gonna delete that. <laughs> but now this person and email is now just a contact. This is great, makes, awesome, makes it so much easier to build a very quick list of network building, makes it very easy to email them, follow up. Maybe I say follow up date as well, follow up date. And so I have marked what date did I meet them. Maybe this is meet date. And then I can just, ha oh, I added them. I sent them an email. So I do at today. Not the, no, no parentheses. I keep doing that. At today. Okay, you actually need to get that at today. So if you go in here and just type in text and then delete it and add text again, it doesn't work. At today. Now hit today's date. Boom. You can also do at date and you have the options of date, today's date, and tomorrow's date, and yesterday's date. So really easy sheet to build for networking, right? Inside of Google Sheets, it's gonna be connected to your Gmail, great for a workspace, also great to build a contact list if you're creating a new venture, any type of thing here. Really cool to see this being more in, Sheets is much more integrated into the workspace world, which it's our behavior we already are, right? We're already checking our Gmail and copying and pasting 
emails into here. We're already adding dates, doing such meeting dates, follow-ups, all that kind of stuff. Now it's much more integrated. Really cool. And hopefully this has been a good tip for network building. Again, I've used this before. One, just build a list of people you want to meet. Ask them to meet. Once you've met them, ask them for one more person to talk to, someone to email or meet as well, and make sure you do that follow-up. Follow-up is so easy and so few people do it that it is mind-bogglingly effective to build the network. It's just do that follow-up. Ask, hey, is there one more person you would suggest to talk to? And funny enough, that kind of favor never goes out of style. Three months later, you can ask the same question. Six months later, you can be like, hey, I've made X and Y progress. Is there one more person you, you suggest I talk to? So now, as you're building your list, you don't need 52 people to meet once a week. You only need like 10. Then maybe five of them are, are going to suggest someone else. So now you have 15. Then in about 15 weeks, you can suggest, hey, is there one more person you would suggest? Now you have 10 more people. So now you have 25. So in six months, in 26 weeks, you could build up a list of people to meet every single week just from starting with 10. Really easy and effective way to network build. And Google Sheets is coming together, making it super easy and super fast to be able to do things like this much, much faster. Really cool update to Google Sheets interface. And I thought this would be a fun video if you're trying to build your network, give you that little tip of follow up and ask for one suggestion. Thanks so much for watching. Check out this video to make more money using Google Sheets. You can sell Google Sheet templates, Google Sheet workflows, checklists all kinds of things, check out this video. And if you are looking to learn to code inside of Google Sheets, check out this video. It is for existing programmers, but I think it also gives you a very quick introduction to what is possible inside of Google Sheets. And maybe if you are like a sponge with information, you can catch on really quick. Check out how to learn to code in Google Sheets if you're already an experienced programmer.